This is Elijah. You guys might remember him from the story when he's really, really tired and sad and he lies down under the tree and God brings him food and water to make him happy again. Turns out that wasn't the first time that God had sent Elijah food using miracles. This is the evil King Ahab. King Ahab and his wife, Queen Jezebel, really did not like Elijah. In fact, they hated him because he kept proving that his God was much stronger than the idols that they worshipped. One day, Jezebel had had enough. She said to Elijah, You better run, Elijah, because I'm going to catch you, and when I do, I'll make you pay. It wasn't long before Elijah realised he was all alone, lost in the middle of nowhere, with nothing to eat and no one to comfort him. But God hadn't abandoned Elijah. God sent birds to bring Elijah food so that Elijah had something to eat. They even brought him meat. Even though Elijah went through some really tough times, God never abandoned him. God always showed up right on time with exactly what Elijah needed. And by teaching Elijah to rely on him and to trust him to provide, God taught Elijah how to have a deeper relationship with him. And we can have that too. I love that story. Elijah is just such a great example of trusting God to provide. And I feel like that's really where we're at at the moment with this lockdown. We really need to rely on God to give us what we need to, um, you know, bring us joy, to bring us peace, to calm our anxiety. And yeah, it's just great to be able to read these stories and to be able to try and apply those things to our lives. Hi kids. So for craft today, we are going to be using clay. If you don't have clay at home, maybe grab some Play-Doh or Plasticine. You can actually make your own Play-Doh at home, so maybe you could try that if you don't have any available. Now, you're going to be making whatever you want to make today, so be creative. But as we make our clay creations, we're going to be talking a little bit about just how you make something out of clay. You see, clay or Play-Doh or Plasticine you kind of need to squish it really, really hard to bend it into a new shape. I'm just going to start squishing my ball of clay down. Now, sometimes God changes us a little bit like we're changing this clay here. Sometimes it's through hard times and through pressure that doesn't really feel very nice that God changes us and, and grows us and puts us into a new shape that's actually better for our lives. And so when we go through really tricky things like this lockdown, maybe maybe you're having um, issues with your friends at school. I know I did when I was in school. Um, maybe you're really struggling with certain subjects. I always struggled with maths. That can be pressure that doesn't feel good, but it can mould you into a really, really strong, cool person. 
who can handle tough times and can help other people handle tough times too. Now I'm going to pinch the sides like this. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Alright, now once you've got the shape you want, then you need to start smoothing out all the edges. This is the fun part because then it starts to look really pretty. Yes, that I'm making a bowl. You are correct. Now, like I said, you can make whatever you want, but maybe you could make something fun for your father for Father's Day. I reckon this might be good for my dad to put his keys in, or his guitar picks, or um, maybe even chocolates. I don't know. We'll have to see what he uses it for. Now you can let that dry out. If you're using clay you can also let it dry out if you're using play-doh. And once it's dry you can paint it. And that's it for today.